Yo, this is how to set up Minecraft for speedrunning. Uh, a lot of mods have changed and there's a lot of faster ways to set up now. Uh, if something doesn't work, just try and follow the tutorial closer or ask in the public help channel in the Minecraft speedrunning discord in the description. First you need to download these six things in the description. The JDK is a faster Java, MultiMC is the launcher we use, ModCheck downloads mods, and the other three are practice maps you need. So once you've clicked all those, to get mod check, just download this jar here. To get the in practice, you download the zip, and for Bastion, you download the zip. Once you've got all those, put them in a new folder like I've done here. Launch the JDK and click through it all. Then unzip the MMC. Go into the new MMC folder, MultiMC, and go to MultiMC. Now click next. Make sure that this is on the 19, 19.0.1. And now at this bottom number, make this 2048. Next, finish. Now log in at the top right, go profiles, manage accounts, add Microsoft, copy this code and click the link and paste the code in. Then sign into your Minecraft account. Now go back into MultiMC, close, add instance, find 116.1, and launch. Now that's launched, you can close the game. Now go edit instance, version, install fabric, and click OK. Then close Minecraft folder, and copy this at the top. Now go back to your folder, and open mod check. Select instance paths at the top, paste this in, now this will be at the top here, click select all, now follow closely, click starlight, untick krypton, and untick standard settings, and click download. Okay, close, now extract the Raigai practice map, extract LBP, and extract portal practice. Now that they're extracted, you have to go into the Raigai, drag this up one folder, and go into the portal practice and drag that up one folder. Now select Raigai, LBP, and portal practice. Open the other folder, the Minecraft folder, go saves, and drag those over. So these saves folders are working if when you open it, you can see the these files and the level.dat. Now we're done, let's open the game. First, go into options and change the audio. I recommend having hostile creatures pretty low. Turn subtitles on. Then go to video settings, view distance to 20, brightness to 500. Change your GUI scale. Turn off VSync. Go to quality, make your entity distance 500 and then turn off vignette. Now apply and close. Go to controls, turn off auto jump, scroll down and make sure that you can reach all of these numbers. If you can't reach any of them, you should rebind them to your keyboard or to your mouse. Also make sure that you can reach toggle perspective. Now we can set up the maps. When you're ready to start doing runs, click the gold boots. Every time you reset, it'll go straight into the next world. To stop resetting, go to options and at the bottom left, click stop resets and quit. So for the bastions, I'll quickly show you how to set up your loadout, but there's a playlist in the description on how to learn some basic bastion routing for each bastion, so go check those out. So down here, right click the sign, and now you can put tools on your bar. I recommend having an inventory like this. Now make sure you save it. Over on the left, change these specific bastion settings. So set it to bridge, make the spawn chalice. For stables, make the spawn bottom stairs. For treasure, make the spawn lava basin. And for housing, make the spawn top. Turn off the terrain, then start. To reset, throw the pickaxe. Then for end practice, go to one cycle settings, set your beds to nine. Press F3 and B to turn on hitboxes. Now to one cycle, you need to go on the side that the green box head here is turning on. So for this dragon, it's turning on the left side. And for this dragon, it's turning on the right side. So this is a top-down view on the one cycle. You're going to be underneath the dragon's head, and this is when you should time the explosion. 
Don't let the head turn past the bed or it'll be scuffed. Then for the portal practice map, learn the owl shape 2 deep and 1 deep and the lava pool portal 2 deep and 1 deep. To change your loadout, click the minecart in the chest and change your items. Then open the chest and click the minecart again. Hope all this helps. I usually stream every day and I want to upload more videos here too. Uh, my other socials are in the link tree in the description as well. Thanks, yeah.